ASP is back again for more Marine Corps equipment, uniforms, and belongings. This is a tabletop overview of the pistol, rifle, and BAR belts. So, Joe, what do we have here? Okay, Chris, let's start off with the pistol belts. This is the Model 1912 pistol belt. You tell by the brass buckles, mm -hmm. right? The large clasp, sort of rounded off. Okay, we see the snap here. For installing the 1911 magazine pouch. Okay. We we'll snap it on the other side, and we can see there's no U.S. on the front. It's a USMC marked belt. Okay. Okay. This particular one was probably manufactured in 1929. That was the last year this belt was still being made. Mm -hmm. You can see what's left of the contract stamp, but not much. It's pretty much gone. And who made this one? Can you? No. You don't know? Okay. Um, no, it's, it's gone. Okay. All right. This is a World War II dated Marine Corps pistol belt. You can see pretty much the brass is gone. It got to a smaller buckle. Mm -hmm. All right. The man initialed it everywhere, LPG. I'm not sure what the V stands for. Okay. All right. He put his name again there. All right. All right. There's the USMC on the back. Okay. Here's his name, and he marked the USMC himself again. Um, L. P. Gorowski. Mm. Well, you see the contract stamp here. It's L. S. Froelich Company, 1942. All right. Again, these are fully adjustable, you know, for size, for waist size. All right. This one. This one's really cool. This is a U.S. Army pistol belt. Okay, why U.S. Army? Because I got this from the veteran's widow. I got his whole collection of stuff out of the attic of his house. Mm -hmm. This was his belt. So the Marines were issued Army equipment. And in this particular play, case, we can actually prove it. Yeah. You know, and it's very light, but we can still see his name. I don't remember his name, though. It's my fault. Russell Manufacturing Company, 42. RM, RMCO, okay. Yeah, so okay. Russell Manufacturing Company. And HH, I think it was Simmons, uh, I forget, my fault for meeting the widow and then not remembering his name. But his name was stenciled on the back. He served as a second lieutenant, he served on Guadalcanal. Okay. So that's why I put a pistol, uh, an army belt in the, in the display. You know? Yeah. Now this is... Now what is this? This is the cartridge belt, primarily for the Springfield and Enfield rifles. Um, 1918, you see the USMC stamp underneath. Okay. Marked USMC, these belts are pretty hard to find. Army ones, they're not, you can find plenty of them. Yeah. All right, and uh, although this is a World War I belt, I have lots of photographs of Marines in the Marshalls and Marianas Islands, clearly with this cartridge belt around their hips. His latest summer of 44. Yeah. So that's why uh, I put this here. It held, uh, it's a stripper clips for the Springfields. Yeah. You know, 10 rounds in each pocket, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, right? Hard rounds. And there's an example in here too. Yes, uh, that's right, I did that, didn't I? I only put five in, I don't want to put pressure on the belt, but there's one stripper clip of five 30.06 rounds, they're blanks. You would have two of these in each pouch. Okay. All right. You see there's three hooks back here for different adjustments for the old P12 hover sacks. Mm -hmm. I think there's a contract stand here. What oh, a nice clean one. I mean, that's... Yeah, it's not too good anymore. Again, this belt is a little worn. Again, it's almost a hard damn years old, you know? Yeah. So here it is. Say, here it is. Oh, here it is. Right on the metal. Focus. Looks like a patent number. I can read. July 16th, 07? No, that can't be right. Focus.
There we go. Yeah, July 16th of 07. Hmm. 1907? I don't know about that. I doubt it. It says here May 18th of 15. Right. Again, unfortunately, the contract stamp and the webbing has been worn away. I have um, army belts of this exact same pattern and are in great, great shape. This one's mm -hmm. worn. And again, to find it with the USMC stamp is so rare. Okay. All right. And then we have the World War II era one. All right. If this was an army belt, there'd be a big US right here. Mm -hmm. Instead, it's got. Let's see, point forty-three. Okay. And USMC there. Now, if you look at the back of this and you look at the flaps, see the different colors. Yeah. Then you see the middle belt, different color again. Mm -hmm. They just took parts and put them together, regardless of the wedding mesh night. You know, it was mm -hmm. not a fashion show. And here we see, we show the M1 Grand. This was added from the original belt. A second. Strap to hold it in place, and this is an end block clip of the eight rounds. Okay, so you went from down to 80 rounds from 100, but again, the rate of fire was so much faster with the yeah. semi auto grand. All right, and again, it didn't have the puckered, you know, wasn't puckered stitching at the bottom here, and I got away from the brass, it's more of a white metal. Mm -hmm. All right, and there's only one hook. For the suspenders now. Mm -hmm. But still the star pole, lift the dots. And if you look, they don't even match. See that? Yeah. Again, they just put them together. Alright. Now you can find these dated 42, 43, 44, 45, 52. Mm -hmm. The 45 dated ones and the Korean War dated ones are a much, much darker olive drab, almost like a dark green. Okay. All right, now here we have the, the BAR belt. All right? Mm -hmm. You see the big US on the, stand, on the front, so right? This, this is R8. Yes, it is an R8. I cannot find one marked USMC on the back. I keep looking. So until I do, this is it. All right, so six pouches, two 20-round box magazines in each. Mm -hmm. So 240 rounds. Yeah. All right. That's a lot of firepower. That's a lot of firepower. All right. This is the tool kit. So the, the breakdown tool, repair kit, cleaning kit went, mm -hmm. in, went in here. Okay. We'll get back to this in a minute. We'll go up to the... This is simply the exact same belt. Oh, wait. We can show the contract date here. Let's see. There it is, yeah. Boy 42. Okay. Now, when you're buying these belts, you can make these up from three different parts. So when you're collecting, you want to kind of make sure they're kind of manufactured the same, you know? Yeah. Okay. All right, and this is a 1945 dated one. Again, U.S. Army. Nothing had changed other than the color for the late war. Mm -hmm. Now, the U.S. Army, B.A. Armin, did not have 240 rounds. He had 200 rounds. You put the repair kit in one of the pouches. Okay. The Marines literally said, F that, we want the extra 40 rounds of ammo. Yeah. They simply put a wire hook on it, clip it to your belt, carry the extra 40 rounds of ammo. Mm -hmm. You see photos of the Marines with this sort of hooked on the back of their belt. Usually the assistant BA Armin will have the toolkit, but not necessarily in every photo I've seen. Mm -hmm. That's it. Pistol belts, rifle belts, BAR belts. Nice. All right, so let's go on to the next Marine Corps equipments, uniforms, and belongings, so stay tuned.